Ballyboyne and Golf Club is located in the north of County Kerry, which is in the southwest of Ireland. This is a wonderful part of Ireland to live in. It's um, a bit wild, a bit rugged. We get all the weather elements that you would expect in the uh, sitting overlooking the Atlantic. But um, So the weather is unpredictable, but um, lovely people, very down to earth. And uh, I mean, you couldn't want to live in a better place beside two world-class golf courses. It was established in 1893, so it's over 100 years old. Um, as you can see, there's lots of dunes, very um, high, spectacular dunes. Um, it, um, it, there's rolling parts of the golf course, but um, it's quite dramatic to look at. And uh, you'll have noticed on your way around Randy, even around the 15th and the 11th, some spectacular dunes to look at and to and um, some fantastic holes carved out of the dunes that are here already. Well, the old course at Ballybunion has been ranked in the top 20 in the world by Golf Magazine consistently over the last 20 years. Um, so um, it is rated in the top 20 in the world um, by other magazines as well. So um, we're hoping to keep it, keep it there. We have lots of famous people who have uh, graced our shores and uh, come to Ballybunion. We've welcomed Bill Clinton, and um, Tiger Woods, Payne Stewart, Lee Trevino, I mean I could go on and on and on. Um, we've had lots of uh, uh, golfers coming here to do some pre-open, pre-British Open practice as well. And uh, so we've been very fortunate and uh, that continues to take place every year. Usually before the British Open takes place we have a lot of uh, well-known and famous golfers coming to do some pre-open practice here. The Cashin course, um, we call it the new course, um, it isn't that new, it's over 20 years old now, um, but it was designed by Robert Trent Jones Sr. Um, it is a very dramatic course to look at, even more dramatic and spectacular, there's some spectacular scenery as well, it's, um, there's a unbelievable holes there. Some stunning holes like the 16th I could mention, it's a beautiful little par 3 on the edge overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. And then um, the 17th, a beautiful hole, and then the 18th, a fantastic finishing hole. But um, it complements the old course very well. Um, and uh, we do a fantastic uh, green fee special of playing the old course and having a complimentary round on the cashing course. And uh, most of our visitors come and play both courses on that basis. The rates and special offers are available on our website, which is ballyboyneandgolfclub.ie. Uh, our lodge is uh, registered, it's a uh, uh, four star luxurious guest house, directly opposite the golf course in Bellybunion. Yeah. Directly opposite the catching course. We organise their tea times at Bellybunion, and whatever time they have wanted, if they need a tea time at 8 o'clock, they have to have breakfast at 7. Sometimes they can be golfing at 7, so they may need to have breakfast at 6, and we that's the service we provide. We provide server, server, service for them. If they need a taxis, 
need a place in town to go to, for, to, to enjoy that evening, we organise it and we organise their taxi for them. We organise their meals, wherever they want to dine, we'll organise it for them. Betty Bunning Golf Lodge or the 19th Lodge is all about service, service, service. Right, we have uh, 14 rooms in total here. Um, they are classified into three different categories. We have standard rooms, superior rooms, and the one we're in at the moment is, is Tom Watson, where he likes to stay when he comes to play Belly Burnham. And of the, over the years we've had some lovely people come through our door, uh, a few of which are, are really well-known golfers. And the rooms that they have stayed in, we named the rooms after them then. So four of the rooms are classified as mini-suites, and some are superior rooms. Oh, all most overlooking the course, um, which all with walking, the, all the showers are have great pressure. They're power showers, and in the superior rooms and in the mini suites, they also have tubs, as well as a shower in all the bathrooms. Tom Watson has stayed with us uh, these four times. Also, Sandy Tatum. Um, who was a friend of Tom Watson's. Then we've had, we were very fortunate to have the, uh, the seniors open here in 2009. Nine. And we had Ian Mosnam, Constantina Rocca, Juan Quiris, Sam Torrance and Carol Mason, who stayed here with us while that was being played. And any time they, co any time they come now to play very well and they stay here with us. And when the guests come to our door to stay with us, we like to, for them to feel that they're staying in our home. It's not like a hotel experience, and any of the guests who have stayed will tell you that, uh, that it's not like staying in any hotel. It's like staying in a luxurious Irish home. One of the most important things is that nobody leaves here without breakfast. It doesn't matter whether they have early tea times, which a lot of the time you would have early tea times when the golf club is really busy. So we do wake-up calls from 5 a.m. We do, uh, f they come into the dining room from 6 a.m. in the morning and they may then be on the course at 7 o'clock onwards. So we have a choice of breakfast in, in our dining room in the morning. There's a menu and um, of the, the most, of the popular items on the menu are um, my own homemade pancakes. Then for choices we have obviously people like the full Irish breakfast or scrambled egg with smoked salmon and other like scrambled egg and bacon. Yeah, um, I suppose the most important thing is, is that when it, most of the business now is through email and I do all uh, I do all of the email here. So every answer um, is emailed and it's Mary, I'm Mary and I, I answer all the inquiries. But when guests come through the door then after maybe a lot of months of emailing the first thing they would say is, are you Mary? And I'd say, yes I am. And they'd say, it's nice to meet you. We, we, you could be emailing each other for a couple of months prior to the arriving, mm. arranging their golf and all that. So, He's well, done. I can assure you that anybody who comes through here, if you come and spend a bit of time with us, you'll experience the homely atmosphere that the 90th Lodge offers. It's a family-run uh, place where you'll meet the owners, but the owners are here all the time to look after your every need. And that's why we have guests returning year after year. A few of, uh, we have groups coming here for the um, for the last twenty three four years. And if you want to stay here in the Tom Watson Suite, just email me, and I will get right back to you, and I will organise your golf, your accommodation, and everything for you. Come here, Mary. <laughs> All right, I'm going back over to Bally. Are you coming to golf with me? No, I wish. <laughs> All right. I just had an awesome breakfast. Let me tell you something. If you're coming to Valley Bunyan, you gotta stay here at the 19th hole. It's not a hotel. It's not some rundown old bread and breakfast. If it's good enough for Tom Watson, it's good enough for them. Huh? Give me a kiss. All right, I'm going golfing. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Right. Enjoy your day. The Hot Golf Show is brought to you by Antigua Golf, Costa Rica Golf Adventures. Golf Vacations Ireland Sun Ice Golf and Ski Wear Tour Edge and World Golfers Championship